Hi, my name is Dan Tartaglia, and this video is about the Drone Deploy Flight App. In my opinion, the Drone Deploy Flight App is one of the easiest, solid, really good tools to create images for 3D models and more. For one reason or another, I always forget it's free, independently of the Drone Deploy ecosystem. Drone Deploy itself has so many bells and whistles, but as a small business, I normally just can't afford it. The agenda of this video is to briefly discuss the use of the Drone Deploy Flight App, supported drones and tablets, an intro to the Web ODM software to use these images to produce the end result, and some of the value of using these great tools together, which is totally free. Quick disclaimer, there are many great tools and processes that can do the same thing. Some cost money and some are free. The information in this video is my personal opinion. You may have your own way of doing the process and that works great as well. The Drone Deploy Flight app is free, but free for who? If I go to their website, and if I go down to recommended and supported drones, you'll see the list right here, which ones are recommended, and you'll also see a chart here of all of them. So here's the flight app right here. And so everything with a check mark is supported. It's not every drone. I have a Mavic 3, which is not supported. But I typically use my Phantom 4 Pro V2, which is supported. And I use a uh, iPad mini for my tablet. So it supports iOS and Android. I use my Phantom 4 Pro 2 because it has a mechanical shutter, so it's very good at taking mapping uh, photos. Another tab here is supported devices and tablets. And I'll have all the links in the uh, description when the video is finished. Like our Drone Deploys website, you can see right here that I have no trial or current paid subscription to Drone Deploy, but I can still have projects in here and I can create new projects. So if I get a new project, I can create a new project and I can create a map if I want to. So and it's all connected to your tablet as well. So what map can be modified there or here. For example, if I go back to that to one project that I've worked on last a couple of days ago, it's a simple project. I just did, I didn't even do a cross grid, which would have given a more enhanced 3D um, result, but it's free to use. And um, I have it on my, again, my iPad mini as well so and it's very reliable I ran it once and there was no issues like some other tools i've tried recently it's a very intuitive software to use but there are also a lot of videos online on how to use it so we're not going to go into detail on how to use the actual tool generating the images is part one part two is being able to use those images in a meaningful way either by stitching them or creating a 3d model or other a software like Web ODM is a good choice because it's also a free software if you use it on a desktop. If we go to our website here, something called Web ODM Lightning, which you can pay for, and it's all processed in the cloud as far as all your images. So that's an option. This is the Web ODM interface right here. There's only a couple of projects in here right now, but if I look at the one I, I did a couple of days ago, and go to view map and then go to 3D. There are a lot of videos on web ODM as well, so we're not going to go deep into this uses the use of this software either. But if I go to textured models and go to show model instead of just showing the uh, way that's there, it looks a little bit better. There are a lot of tools here as well, but again, this is a free tool, which is very nice and, and everything can be exported. I didn't do a, 
a great deal of 3D as far as this particular project goes yet. But the idea here is that I use drone deploy. I didn't even use the full 3D option for drone deploy, but and I took some extra pictures of the side of this building here and the side of this building here because they were hitting the sun and I was running out of time to do the rest of the building. But it between these two and the fact that they're free to use, it's a great option to have if you're wanting to create a 3D model or again, ortho mosaic or even just a top down high resolution image that's stitched together. It does take a while to process this on a laptop or a computer, and that, especially if the computer is not powerful enough to handle it, but it's an option and it's a free option. I do plan to go back, hopefully to do the whole building and the whole property in 3D in the best way, way possible. But right now, this is um, just an example. You can get the software from this website and download it and just use it. You don't have to customize it if you don't want to, but you have the ability to do it. It is open source software. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was useful in some way. And I hope you try Drone Deploys Flight app if you can. Please let me know if you have any questions and thank you for your time.